If you're planning to set the early alarm to brave the traffic and crisp morning air this weekend, we have a preview of what to expect. Jacqueline Otagon joins us just outside the gates of Balloon Fiesta Park. Jackie, any activity at the park yet? Well, Danielle, Julie, there's a couple people out here right now in their RVs, of course, but in a couple days, it will be a packed house here at Balloon Fiesta Park. I'm here live with Tom Garrity. He's the media liaison for Balloon Fiesta this year. How are you doing this morning? Good morning, Jacqueline. Doing well. Thank you. Awesome. And do you want to go ahead and explain how folks camping out are able to be here so early? Yeah, you know, uh, we have RVers from across the country that have been arriving since Monday, getting set up and ready to go. We've actually had some RVers here for the last month because uh, they're part of our navigator team that helps to set up Balloon Fiesta Park to get ready for our, all of our visitors here. But Thursday and Friday, today and tomorrow, it's going to be packed out here. This is probably the calmest it's going to be with all the RVs that are coming in uh, from around the country. Well, and we got so many people coming in. How many people do you think are going to be coming out this year? You know, uh, we and, you know, well, last year we've actually had anywhere from uh, 500,000 to 900,000 spectator visits. It all depends on what the weather is going to be. And the weather is shaping up to be really nice. So uh, we anticipate that first weekend will be really phenomenal. Yeah, I'm pretty looking forward to that weather coming in myself. And so I'm probably going to be driving in. Do you want to go ahead and explain to folks about that parking situation? Yeah, the best way to get to Balloon Fiesta Park uh, is basically off of I-25, off of Tramway or Alameda. If you're driving, have $20 ready for the parking. Admission is $15. If you take Park and Ride, we have uh, still have different flights available, four different locations on the first weekend that you can choose from. Balloonfiesta.com is your resource there. And for residents who want to be able to ride their bike to Balloon Fiesta, that's probably going to be the easiest and uh, <laughs> least stressful way. It's just drive up or ride up uh, the North Diversion Channel. And then when you get to Balloon Museum, turn right. Bike valet is free. All you have to pay is your admission. But what about the new features this year? Jacqueline Aragon is live for us at Balloon Fiesta Park with the details. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, Danielle, Julie, and you're so right. We've got a bunch of cool stuff at Balloon Fiesta this year. We've got new balloons, new activities for people to enjoy, and I'm here live with Tom Garrity. He's the media liaison for Balloon Fiesta. You still doing okay? So far, so good. You bet. <laughs> and do you want to go ahead and tell some people about some of the new features that they'll be seeing when they walk into the park? You bet. Uh, when you come into Balloon Fiesta Park, you know, it's always good to keep in mind that, you know, we have the Balloon Discovery Center. We also have the Artisans of Fiesta at the north end of Balloon Fiesta. We also have drone shows uh, every single morning of the event. And so that's going to be fantastic. Uh, and then, of course, Dawn Patrol starts up about uh, 6 o'clock, 6.15, right around pilot briefing time. If you're in traffic, don't worry. That's just the Dawn Patrol. We still have the mass ascension that takes off about 7. Okay. And what are some of the things people can bring when they get out here? Can they bring their little dogs with them? What can they bring? Well, <laughs> if their little dog is a service animal and actually has certification in a vest, then yes. But uh, for the most part, uh, no pets are allowed. But we do have security checkpoints that our, all of our guests will have to uh, go through. Uh, things to keep in mind that you can bring. You can bring in jackets, definitely dress in layers. Uh, we will have an express lane. Uh, so if you don't have any bags and or if you have a clear bag, that's the lane for you. Uh, you're able to bring in a cart with chairs uh, and food as well. Uh, just no glass products, no alcohol, no weapons. Uh, but, you know, you'll have your own lane as well. So uh, just know that you can bring in, uh, you know, items into Balloon Fiesta. Just know that it will be checked. Yeah, we got to make sure everybody's safe when they come out here, right? And do you want to go ahead and talk about kind of the really yummy food that will be out here for people as well? Oh, man. You know, uh, the breakfast burrito was up, invented up in Santa Fe at Tia Sofia's mm -hmm. back in 1972, uh, same year as Balloon Fiesta started. But Balloon Fiesta perfected the grab-and-go of, balloon, of uh, breakfast burritos. So one of the nice things about breakfast burritos is that you get a couple of them, you warm up your hands, put them in your pocket, and then later on you're able to enjoy a great breakfast but we'll have so many different vendors here at balloon fiesta that will be selling that staple that balloon fiesta is known for awesome yeah they could be kind of some hand warmers right exactly. <laughs> thanks tom and remember everybody gates open at 4 a.m to get the party started and we'll have all this information at kob.com